Oh, God, little shite, I'm President Gasman. Join me in the hot seat for President Fight D. Now, we've apparently seized power in a bloodless, fair, democratic election with a campaign promise to make Mobisi great again. Well, what remains to be seen is whether or not I build Mobisi into a great African superpower. I'll go mad with power and die from being inflicted arse injuries. A lot can happen in 24 hours. Let's continue. World News Report. All hail President Kasman. The era in Africa no. as Mobisi, the latest independent country, is added to Africa's map. And the former British colony of land officially ceases to exist. After 100 years of colonial rule, all eyes will be on Mobisi to see how its new president will lead the country into the future. Yeah, they're really sitting the thinking, thinking like, why did they like BC is me as president, and then considering their past, but, it's uh, main stay of its economy. you know. It's a fertile land, but in recent years has suffered prolonged droughts because of huge variations in seasonal rainfall. With a population of 20 million and increasing, there is a huge pressure on the land, but economic yep. experts believe Mobisi has a fine future ahead of her. The country has considerable economic potential as a mineral producer with uh -huh. substantial but as yet unworked copper reserves which are waiting to be exploited. I uh, per prefer to say utilised than exploited. Are their hopes on their new leader. I wonder what it feels like to be the president of Mabisi right now. Oh, it feels pretty, pretty, pretty good to be in charge. What could do with a more up-to-date computer? Using Windows 95, maybe. Welcome, yeah, President yeah. Lulagi. Just I call me Gazman. Aid, and here to help you settle into your new office. Thank you. And bring you reports of developments in our new independent country. Mm -hmm. As our president and leader, you will be responsible for all decision making. Well, that's we pretty much the idea of being president, leaders. is it not? However, advice will be available to you from your three special advisors. When they have something to say, their light will flash on the telephone, and all you and have send me a little quick time video straight to my computer. To them. When you've yes. heard all their advice, oh, I've got the latest you version. Your decision. The options you can take will appear on the computer screen. All you need to do is click on the option you prefer. We this are really looking really forward, forward to your decisions as you lead our new and independent country. As a country, we are all very excited and proud about our new seat and status in the United Nations. Yes, yeah, so am I. Our new national flag. I like and it. And our first own national airline, Air Mobisi. Oh, we do have national beer yet. That's, we hope to you be. know, priorities. Priorities, first people. The decision, President Mulagi, is to set the policy concerning the type of economy we should develop for our country. I Some believe would have thought I would have spelled this out in my... Economy. Manifesto. Others argue for a and problem the strength of that is the reason I was elected. We will never become a great country but, uh, unless we have a modern, diversified economy. You know. I know your advisors have strong opinions. May I suggest you listen to them before you make your decision? Mm. You know, it's like, well, you know, don't come in, come in as president and wing it. Yeah. Crowdsourcing ideas. Yeah, here we go. And press play on this guy's quick time video. There we go. President oh, Malagi. Sorry, woman. I believe that we should develop a rural self sufficient economy. Right. As you well know, in our past, our people have tried to rely on our agricultural produce. But we have been forced to import many foodstuffs, such yeah. as rice, flour, and even vegetable oil from overseas. So now that we are an independent country and free from the West, let's break all our links with them so we no longer have to rely on them for anything. We come clearly into it, become we like the North Korea of Africa. Rural areas to grow all the necessary fruit that crops might for. have its benefits to me. Our main crops of cassava, I'm thinking cassava, about the people here. Beans. But we can also introduce new crops such as soya bean, rice, and drought resistant wheat. Yeah. Then we will no longer have to import these products from overseas. 
I'm not sure about and that. we can build up our livestock, so we will have fresh meat and a natural source of fertilizer for our land. Yeah. This way, you're we can plenty of shite there, yeah. And no longer have to trade. Is your head swelling up? We have to deal with the West again, so our people that will be well pop there. and happy. They will continue a tradition that has been here for generations, and they will keep their cultural identity I and do. pride. Mm. What is more, by developing our rural areas, we will prevent movement of people into our small towns and cities. So we will avoid the overcrowding and all the related problems. Yeah, that social distancing. Yeah. If we follow a self-sufficient economy, I believe we will have a fine future ahead of us. I'm not sure about that. Let's see what the guys say. President Nulagi, I strongly believe that our country's future lies in developing a major cash crop as the basis of a mono economy. Yeah. Let's grow weed. Mobesi has plenty of fertile land which could be used very productively if we concentrate on growing coffee. This would oh be yeah, quote unquote cash coffee. Despite the risk of drought, there is adequate seasonal rainfall to grow coffee with a reasonable degree of safety. Mm -hmm. And we have the added benefit of not being at risk from frost. The same does many other coffee producers, so it will put us at a great advantage. Is that a advantage. problem in coffee, coffee producing countries? Frost? Not only is it suited to our land and climate, but also there is a great demand for it on the world market. Yeah, they love uh, their so finger quotes coffee. Is meet this demand. Our people are used to agriculture. They are well equipped with traditional farming skills, so they will have no problem in turning their hands to growing coffee. All we need to do in the beginning is to help them set up small holdings yeah. and wherever possible plantations so they can grow and export coffee. Yeah. This will lead to many benefits for our people yeah. and our country. Our people will be fully employed because yeah. demand for their product will be high. Yeah, that was just like, you know, once once everybody hears about my BC madman. Monetary benefits from selling their crops. Yeah, this I, th can I think have positive yeah. effects on the rest of the economy. It will give us an injection of foreign exchange mm -hmm. and hard currency. Because our people will be earning money, we can raise taxes from them. Right. So our country's revenue will increase. Uh -huh. We can utilize this revenue to develop our country build new roads and buildings, buying manufactured goods from overseas, yeah, right. and develop health and education. Gradually, we will develop into a great nation if we focus and concentrate all our efforts in building a mono economy based on providing coffee as a primary product yeah. for an expanding global market. Yeah, I like your quote-unquote coffee idea. President Nulagi, mm -hmm. the West may have left us, but they are keen to help us to develop our new and independent country. Uh -huh. They want to help us to be a success by becoming a modern industrial nation, just like they are. Really? I know we are an agricultural country, but we must look forward to the future. Uh, our I, th I think we're a bit behind. We need to develop so we too can be as powerful as the West. Yes. Mm. We can build on our agricultural base and use our projects I, as raw I, materials I for know. industrial development. We can grow sisal and use it for making string and matting, which we can export. Is, is the our world string market really? This way we can cut down our imports of the way to go. We can export them at cheaper prices. And if we invest in industry, we can build assembly plants and export our goods. Yeah, we could, we can we open the world's up number one exporter of strings. A vital raw material for the West. The opportunities are endless. Now, if we want to quote unquote coffee and an an there, we could uh, be your hemp so going, we, we could make some hemp rope. Use the revenue to invest in our future no? by providing schools and hospitals. We can educate Aye. our children mm. and invest in a healthcare system so the needs for medicines will also decrease. And we can begin to develop our infrastructure by building roads and power stations. What an exciting time lies ahead for us. I, mm. In order to move forward in this way, President Nulagi, and develop this modern, diversified economy, we will need to invest in our country. And our timing to do this is perfect. 
The West are very keen to lend us money, and the interest rates are very low, so we you, can borrow as much. You realize this money is going to be paid need. back. Let us do that and use the money to develop I, our country. Mm. Let us look forward instead of looking back. Um. Yeah, I want to go. I think. Uh, yeah, let's go with the quote unquote coffee idea. Yeah. I could doze anyway. Yeah. Is it lunchtime yet? Where's my lunch? President Nulagi, your decision to build a mono economy and to concentrate on the growth and export of coffee worked well at first. Our coffee companies did oh. well and our people were fully employed. Yeah. We had a lot of hard currency from our exports mm -hmm. and also managed to raise significant revenue from domestic taxes. Right. However, problems started once we were hit by drought. No. Our coffee crops were severely affected and because we couldn't meet the demand, we lost most of our market to Brazil. Brazil? Since then, our problems have been made worse by the fact that there has also been a collapse in the world coffee price. So as any coffee we have been selling hasn't brought in as much income. Are we talking about our coffee or the finger quotes because coffee? Of these problems, our coffee farmers became unemployed and had no money to buy essential foodstuffs. And as they'd been encouraged to turn their land to no. coffee production, they had no other food to fall back on. We have become dependent on one source of income and it has really hit us hard. We now have a budget deficit and a balance of payment problem as our imports are higher than our exports and are increasing as we are having to import the basic foodstuffs. I fear for the worst, an economic collapse. President Nulagi, what shall we do? Some members of our government say we should do nothing, just oh. try to ride this storm. But others say we must borrow money so we can afford to keep afloat and just buy the essentials uh, to keep our people alive. Oh, come on, it's my first day! Fucking hell. Right. See what my, ex my experts have to say. President Nulagi, we have had droughts before, and the rains come back. I have been reassured. Yeah. The rains will arrive soon, so we can get our coffee production up and running again shortly. Hey. I'm also told the world your source on this rain? is set to rise as demand is still high and supply has been cut, as Brazil's coffee output has been drastically reduced as it has been affected by severe frosts. When the fuck is frost ever affected Brazil? We have seen what a success our coffee economy can be. I'm confident that if we continue to ride... Alright, are we still talking about our once the rain coffee or the finger quotes coffee? We have lost. In the meantime, we must temporarily freeze our plans to develop our country until our coffee industry is well on the way to recovery again. Just hold on, President Nulagi. Things will soon change for the better. Will they? Oops. What do you got to say? Come on, out with it. Your quick time video. President Nulagi, we must look after our people and admit mm -hmm. to the harsh realities we face. People are starving, and because we need to import goods to meet their basic needs, our books don't balance. We must borrow money to fund our deficit so we can mm. continue to keep our people alive. There are many countries in the West who are very willing to help us. They will lend us money at a very low rate of interest yes. without question of its use. We will have to borrow it until we are able to get back on our feet again. Oh, fuck's sake, right. Um, well, it's got to rain sometime. And go for a doze. Right. Where's my lunch? Is it lunchtime yet? President Nulagi, we are in real trouble as our people are very unhappy. They are blaming us for telling them to put everything into producing coffee. 
and now they have nothing. If you wish to read the coffee, is the, the flute will take me the uh, face value. I was, I was doing the finger the quotes. Coffee, coffee. make the rich, but it has failed. There's been rioting, looting, and political unrest. <sighs> a group of rebels have taken over the radio and television stations no. and are threatening a coup. The army are deserting you and joining the rebels. It's all over, President Mulagi. We cannot stop the rebels or the coup. You will have to surrender and resign. For fuck's sake, isn't even lunchtime yet? I'm going to be president for a day. Oh, what the... Ah, uh, fuck's sake, man. <laughs>